Last time, we installed Zorin OS next to Windows 11, but how well does it actually game? Don't forget to hit that like button. Today, we're putting both systems head to head, running on the exact same hardware using the AMD Ryzen 5 8600G with its built-in Radeon graphics. All the drivers are up to date, and just to make sure everything's fresh, I'll run sudo app update and sudo app upgrade minds y. This makes sure Zorin OS has the latest system packages. Then, I'll install the latest Mesa Vulkan drivers using sudo apt install Mesa Vulkan drivers to keep the GPU performance fully optimized for gaming. After updating everything, we're going to install Lutris directly from the Zorin OS software store. If you're new to Linux gaming, Lutris is basically an all-in-one game manager that helps you install and run games from different platforms like Steam, Epic, and Battle.net. It's one of the easiest ways to get started with gaming on Linux. But before we jump into installing our first game, a quick word from today's sponsor, Go Login. The internet isn't as open as it used to be. Some websites are blocked by location, trackers follow your every move, and managing multiple accounts can get you flagged fast. Whether you want to browse privately, access geo-blocked sites, or manage accounts securely, you need a tool that puts you in control. That's where GoLogin comes in, an anti-detect web browser that gives you freedom, privacy, and control. Unblock any content worldwide, stay completely private, no tracking, no fingerprint leaks, manage unlimited accounts safely for work or business, share access with your team without sharing passwords, and with 2 gigabytes of free residential proxies, you can connect fast and securely from anywhere. So if you're serious about staying private and secure online, grab Go Login using the link below. And don't forget to use code C45 for a special discount. Alright, starting off again from where we left, the Lutris installation. Once installed, open Lutris and click on the Wine button. Here, install all the available Wine staging and Wine GE versions. This ensures maximum compatibility for Windows games on Linux. After that, go to the top right corner, click on the three dash menu and select Add Game. Then choose Install a Windows game from Executable and just follow the easy steps to install your game. It's that simple. After installing your game, head over to the Wine settings and make sure all these performance options are enabled. That'll help you get the best possible gameplay experience. Once everything looks good, hit the play button and let's see how it runs. We tested Doom Eternal at 1080p, high settings with motion blur turned off. Both Windows 11 and Zorin OS were using the exact same configuration. The performance was nearly identical on both systems. But here's the interesting part. On Zorin OS, the screen recorder used up more system resources compared to the Windows game recorder. Even then, gameplay on Zorin OS felt noticeably smoother overall. There's another game launcher available in the Zorin OS software store called Heroic Launcher. It's an awesome platform that lets you play games from Epic Games, GOG, and even Amazon all in one place. For Epic titles like Fortnite and Fall Guys, Heroic is usually the go-to option. But unfortunately, when we tried installing Fall Guys, it just didn't work. We tested every possible workaround, even some older tricks from Reddit. But no luck, the developers have changed certain files and anti-cheat systems, which now prevent games like Fortnite Fortnite and Fall Guys from running on Linux. Next, we installed Steam from the Zorin OS software store and downloaded the Blackmyth Wukong benchmark tool. We tested it at 1080p with motion blur turned off, FSR enabled, and all settings set to low for a fair comparison. 
Both Windows 11 and Zorin OS performed really well. But interestingly, even though Zorin OS showed slightly higher FPS, the benchmark actually felt smoother on Windows 11. Next, we downloaded Marvel Rivals and tested it at 1080p resolution. We set AMD FSR 3 to ultra performance mode, turned on frame generation, and kept the graphic settings at their lowest to push for maximum FPS on both systems. This time, Zorin OS really surprised us. It not only delivered bit of higher FPS but also felt noticeably smoother during gameplay. Even while using a third-party screen recorder, performance stayed consistent and responsive. And when we ran the same test without recording, the FPS on Zorin OS jumped even higher, showing how efficiently it can handle games when the system isn't under extra load. Compared to Windows 11, Zorin OS held its own beautifully here, proving that Linux gaming is catching up faster than ever, especially for lighter or well-optimized titles. To sum it all up, you can absolutely play a lot of popular titles on Zorin OS. However, some of the newer games with strict anti-cheat systems like Battlefield 6 or the latest Call of Duty still don't run properly on Linux. But who knows, things are changing fast and Linux gaming is improving with every update. That's it for now. If you enjoyed this comparison, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.